Listen, I was talking to Jeannie today and I thought of something. When you're doing your happier and happier moments, really this is the best way of getting to 5D and getting a better life period. Um, really, the best way of doing it is focusing on your now and being happier and happier now. The trick here that I didn't bring up before is if you run into a moment that causes you to go down in vibration, makes you unhappy, okay? You need to just step around that. Now, the way you step around that is by using no attachment and no judgment, okay? That's why those are important because that's how you step around those people, places, or things that cause you to lower your vibration. So instead of going up to the cash register and the checkout person um, gives you a hard time, instead of responding like, Arr, and back at them, like, don't try me like that. Instead of doing that, you're not attached to what they're saying at all. You're allowing them to have their game, no matter what it is, right? Right. So you just let it flow through you, okay? Let it flow through you. In other words, you step around that incident that could cause you to lower your vibration by using non-judgment and non-attachment. Um, That's why we use them. That's why we have them. Now, what happens is, commonly, as people start this journey, what you'll find is you go to work. And every moment of every day for eight hours, five days a week, the whole time you can't step around that ability to be happier and happier, okay? If you are in a job where you cannot step around it, you can't use non-judgment and non-attachment to step around it and be happier anyway, then you've got a problem and you're going to have to make a decision. I'm sorry, but that's the way it is. And you may have to change jobs. But you need to change jobs with a, a, a visualization, a clear visualization of doing something that you know that you'll love with people that you love, that you like, that you can be happier and happier with. Okay? Now, anybody can change any job into a happier and happier. But if you have a history with that job, that's very hard to do. Same thing is true with people. If you've got a person in your life that makes you unhappy every time you talk to them, that they're just a downer, then you need to look at that. Can you interact with that person with non-judgment, non-attachment, so that it doesn't hurt them, so it doesn't hurt you, so you don't lower your vibration? If not, you're going to have to not talk to them anymore if you want to do this. Those are the things that I mean when I say this is going to be tough. If you're living in a place that makes you unhappy and you can't go to a timeline where it's happy because you've got too much history, you just can't get out of it, you may have to move. Those are the tough things that I'm talking about. That's the tough decisions. Those are the decisions that you have to be able to walk through your life day to day, moment to moment, and decide, make, and do. Okay? Once you've done those things, then it becomes much easier. But what we've all done, what humanity has done, is set themselves up for the fall because that's what it was intended to do, was to keep people in the lower vibrations. So the whole society has been set up to be negative. Everything around you is negative. You've got to decide whether or not you want all of those society things or if you want to go to 5D, if you want to raise your vibration, if you want to be happier, if you want to go to a 4D pleasant place, a pigeon place. If you do, you're going to have to stop living in negativity around negative people doing negative things. That's it. That's it. If you can walk happier and happier and happier and walk around the people, places, and things and just keep being happier and happier, you got this. That's all you got to do. Simple, easy. It should be easy for you. But what has happened most of the time, especially with star seeds who have gone through trauma, is they have set themselves up for a life that is now a job they hate, the family they hate, friends they don't like or they're negative, um, living in a place they don't like, doesn't match them. And so all of those things are out of whack. All of those things. So when I tell you you need to be happier and happier in every which way you look, you are unhappy. You can't even see happy. That's why I say happier. And now what I'm telling you is if you want to get out of it, you have to start correcting all that. Either you have to go to timelines where your family is now good, your friends are wonderful, your job is stupendous, and where you live has just made all the difference, which you can do. 
But because of what you've seen over and over for decades, it becomes easier to re to set up something new. It's easier and it's faster to set up something new than it is to correct where you are, depending upon how bad it is, how much it is in your head that it's bad. Okay? That's what I've done with Steve. X number two. I don't think about the bad Steve. That's not the same entity. I'm going to timelines with a better Steve, so I don't even look at that. Don't even look at that. If you can do that, then you can stay around everything you're presently in. Just refuse to look at the bad things and know, whoops, I screwed it up another day. I'm still on timelines where they all suck. Got to go to timelines where everybody doesn't. If you can do that, then do it. For me, that didn't work. It was too bad. I had to leave everything and start over. And that's what I did. So, either way is fine. Don't do it at all. That's fine. Just, uh, my opinion. That's it. Hey, guys, uh, that's it for me. Love you so much. And, uh, for the members, I'm going to go into this in longer detail over on the membership side. Okay? So, uh, see me over there. Okay? Love you guys so much. I'll talk to you later. Bye now.